Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna continue working on this face here. And we got the skin pretty much um, highlighted and uh, shaded. Still gonna do some reflected light, but I'll do that later. And now it's time to get on some other details here. Um, so we've got the hair, got the lips, got the eyes. Um, but one thing that's kind of bugging me right now is the background. So I'm gonna go to my background. And what I did, I gave it a warm kind of gray color here with a little bit of red in it. And as everything is looking warm, like the hair is, you know, brown, face is, you know, skin tones, which are, are warm. So I wanna change that. I'm gonna change it to like, like a blue gray, just so it has some contrast. So I'm gonna switch my color and I'm gonna just see what it's gonna look like here. Um, I'm gonna dump in my paint bucket. See if that gives it a little better contrast. Let's see. Be a little less. And it was just bugging me that everything was kind of warm. Um, so I'll just leave it there for now. Again, this is this is can change at any moment. Like, you know, we could just change it if we don't like something. But now I have at least a little bit of contrast going on with the background being slightly cooled down and then the rest warm. Okay, so let's see what I got things on. Skin, features. So let's just do the features next here. Making sure I've got all my settings correct. Um, transparent uh, pixels are locked. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. And I'm gonna see what color I have for the lips. This pink kind of color. And once again, I'm gonna shade it first. So I'm gonna darken it up and Let's see, on my soft brush right now, it's perfect. Actually, let me get my general brushes here. So there we go, soft round. And I think I'm gonna warm the color up just in general for the lips. Let me go back. Once again, I'm gonna select it. Actually, it's more saturated and warm it up. Try that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my brush. And I just use the paint bucket, the shortcut G to get there. And I'm gonna darken it up now. What's my opacity? It's pretty high actually. I don't think I just have this strong enough. That's pretty strong. Maybe a little stronger than I wanted. Draw my opacity back down. Let's paint this the original color again. And as you can see, it's really easy to kind of adjust color, try things out, see what you like, what's working, what doesn't work. Okay, let's try this for now. Okay, so I just went with the uh, little bit of shadow under the lip and on the inside of the top lip and then right in kind of the middle where it you know, rounds out and gets darker in there. Let me get a little darker. Kind of like a little shadow under there. Okay, and now let's go ahead and do a little bit of highlight. All right, we can have that for now, we can have that for now, let's see. Okay, let's move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna pick the original color here and I'm gonna go ahead and darken it up a bit, not a ton, maybe a little more than that. And the corner of the eyes, right, where it's kind of going back in your head under the eyelid, which is already kind of underneath, you know, your eye, in your eye socket. A little darker there. Same thing with the other side here, maybe on the inside. 
kind of get a little darker there, and then under the eyelid, a little bit on the bottom there. And then I'm going to go to the original color again and just do the highlight. This is all just with a soft brush. So I'm going to just bring that on pretty much just to white. And because I'm at 50%, it shouldn't completely go white. Get a little too much on the top there. Let's see. Just give me a little bit of a highlight there. Okay. I can do that for now. And let me see what layer that's on. Okay, so I got this little uh, inside of the eye right there, the very, very inside. And I'm just going to get my pink tone from the lips over here. I'm going to get a little more precise of a brush. I'll do the hard round. Just color that in. And then go with the darker color I had. Just a little bit there. And is it worth adding a highlight? You know, it's so small. Let's see if I get my light pink there. Again, I gotta go almost to white here. And it is, you know, your eye is wet, so it's a chance. But you kind of just too much, I think. I'll just take it down. Be a little more subtle. Okay, so let's move on to the iris. So I'm going to go to my other layer, my details, and just decide on what color I want her eyes to be. Everything's so brown or everything. Maybe I'll try like a green or something. I don't know. Let's, let's try it. So let's get my brush. And look at that. I did not lock the transparent pixels. Undo, 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 and then lock it. All right, there we go. Okay, a little too far in there. Okay, so let's get the dark kind of on the outside. The outside of the iris is usually a little darker. I don't even want to go darker than that. And I'm still on my hard round brush, and that's fine because for me, I kind of like those lines in the eye. These little uh, lines we get. Okay, so I'm going to go lighter now. Pick the original color. And get out. And I mean, the best thing to do is just look at an eye, and for myself too, usually. I want to just look at an eye and see um, what's going on with the iris and the colors and stuff. And that can make your eye look even better. Okay, so I'm going to go to the highlight here. I'm just going to go straight to white there. The highlight in the uh, pupil. I just noticed something under my eyelid. Let me go to my soft brush. Um, again, that shadow would continue. The shadow that we have on the uh, white of the eye would continue onto the uh, iris. Okay, let's zoom out. All right, that looks fine for now. All right, on to the hair. On to the hair. Now, let's see. I think I want to, I want to shade it. And then I want to go on top and do another layer. So let's let's do that first. Let's go to my, let's go to my hair and let's just add some shade. There we go. Should be. Always interesting to look at your painting without your um, ink lines and see how you're doing. And if you can still see forms and everything. 
It's a little creepy, but there it is. Okay. Let's see. Lot details here. So thinking about my highlight and where the light's coming from, top right, and where the light would hit shine. And let's go ahead and get some value on this. So I've got my, let's see if I want to use a soft, kind of want to use a hard round pressure. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to get my color here. I'm going to go down pretty dark. And this brush adds, like, you see streaks in it because of um, the hard edge that it has on the outside, which for me, um, I like with the hair. Okay, so I imagine back there it's going to be pretty dark. So because it's leaving those streaks, I definitely want to kind of stay within the flow of the hair. And you, this is not like the one correct brush or anything for hair. This is just one way to kind of get a little bit of something. It's just, just a little different texture. Um, there's plenty of other ways to approach it. But just trying one with the simple brushes that we have. I mean, it comes with Photoshop. Again, I'm thinking about the bottom. And what would be getting more light? What would be getting less light? You know, what part of these locks of hair are facing away from my light source? Okay. Get some of these up here, maybe right here where it parts would be a little darker, maybe. here into these locks. And this is where my light is going to be mostly hitting here in the top right of her head. So still thinking, you know, some of these locks are overlapping and still giving us some dark areas. you know, which would get a shade. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I'm gonna go darker now. I'm gonna go almost to black there. Hopefully I still have a little bit of brown in there. And I'm gonna even up, let me, let me try. I don't think I want to go to 100%. Let me go to 70%. And I want to just get the darkest kind of parts here. Usually with hair, I like to draw in a little more um, dark in the initial drawing just to get more of a value, a stronger value change. Um, but since I knew I was doing painting in this, I decided to try and deal with it more in the painting stage. We'll see how that works out. OK. 
Okay, and then maybe under here. Just kind of going behind her head. Okay, let's see here. All right. And then let's go ahead and uh, do a little highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and use Option and select the original color, the most clear area I can see. You know, most of it's been painted over. So there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a highlight in this lighter, maybe a little towards the yellows. And let's see with this brush. I think it'll work. Okay, so I'm just thinking about where the light would be hitting mostly and kind of hitting those locks. Okay, let's go to the top over here, maybe right here. Maybe a little more here, let's see. I'm just going to hit a few of these here. Not a ton on this side. Okay, and I find this it can be kind of forgiving here, um, our because hair is so um, fluid. I don't know how else to put it. It, it. You know, it can change shapes and all sorts of things can happen. So it's kind of forgiving in that we can do something, and then if it gets light or dark, we can imagine maybe it's a highlight in the hair. The hair is actually lighter. Or we can imagine that um, maybe the you know a lock kind of flows under and it gets dark. It's just a lot we can kind of just uh, uh, play with and just, you know, since it's so fluid, our minds can kind of make sense of it, even if it's a little more haphazard than not. Okay, well, there we go. We got our features painted. We got some hair painted, but we're not done, all right? We've got some other steps to do. We've got some reflected light to do. But before that, we're going to uh, color the line, and I'm going to show you some other techniques. Now, this is maybe as far as you want to take your drawing, and that's fine. You could call it done. Uh, but I do want to take you a few more steps uh, that you can do that aren't that hard, but that can um, really possibly make things pop. All right? We will do that on the next video, and I'll see you guys then.